Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to The Evil Within. So we've still got some stuff we want to do over here before we move the story forward to some co-op thing. You may have noticed that that fabric just popped in. That's a visual engine thing. Not particularly a glitch, it's acting as it's programmed to act, it's just... It's awkward when people see it. It saves video cards from needing a lot more video RAM. Um, what I wanted to see is can I shoot these? Yes I can. Good to know. I also don't want to lose my axe. And I may have lost my axe. Anybody see an axe around? Yeah, either the axe fell through the floor, or... I didn't take a considerable amount of damage by shooting it. And this really is one of those scenarios where I could have probably snuck around this. Two, two parts for that bomb. I wonder if if I was still playing on the hardcore, uh, well, the second difficulty, the average difficulty, if that would have done me that much of a favor and given me two pieces. Hmm. Ah, the classical music is a hint to let's see to where a waiting room door is and so I assume this is gonna take me yeah She's gone. now we have Mac map fragment Four, and I'm not sure these map fragments are going to work together to actually give me a map. General Sebastus Castellanos, my new partner, Myra Hansen, is a real firecracker, tenacious and non no nonsense, my kind of woman. But I've got to watch it around her. She almost caught me checking out her butt today. Yeah, really important information there. And the cockroaches seem to just go in specific directions that don't connect to anything. My head. Hmm. I was wondering, as the lantern clips through the bed, I was wondering if we would find that taking the axe which is I think a pretty powerful weapon might prove to be useful if I could keep it in the this area and use it later I don't think I'm gonna get around with that though I found two keys and there's these symbols and this says one so I would think that implies that I I don't have the right key. You should find this useful. Hmm. Serial killings continue. Police baffled by cause of death. How can they? There be zero trace of a killer. More bodies found in Elk River community. Residents feel trapped in their homes. Hmm. And. Missing KCPD officer disappeared while on patrol. Patrol count found uh, abandoned on the outskirts of town. So pe people. So she will now let me through. I think that's because I found keys. I 
I suppose it was probably very difficult to balance whether they wanted her to be creepy or not creepy, since you're going to see so much of this lady. So this is the keys. Because I found two keys, which you could have easily not found. I can unlock things. Detective Castellano, do you have a key like this? Yes. That key will allow you to open this door. Hmm. Did she just hand me another key? The contents are yours. Please come back whenever you need to. This is one of those instances in which it might be a really good idea if I was just following a walkthrough. Let's assume that there's some winners and some losers behind these doors. Uh, and we can see, let's do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's 27 on this wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's another 18. 27 and 18 equals 55. 55 keys in the entire game. So now I have harpoon bolts. 100%. A powerful harpoon for the agony crossbow, which will impale opponents. Useful later on in the game, but not useful now. I don't even have a crossbow gun. 5,000. Well, 5,000 is not a terrible upgrade. Like, that kind of drastically changes how the game goes. I guess if I wanted to exit through this way, I could. Hmm. And there's more paperwork and stuff back this direction. But here's the map of Crimson City. Map is fragmented as the city itself. Well, I didn't get to read the rest of that. But we can do a quick count. If there's seven times four that's 28 map pieces in total to look for and once you have a map completed uh, what does that do for you probably not too much it may just be another thing you can do hmm I really am in one of those scenarios where it probably would have been better to better for the game to to have looked at a walkthrough and and just figured out what to do that way from the get go because I'm not sure if this is going to keep my attention long enough to play it a second time through. Hmm. I've got so many games to play, anyways. It's hard to make that decision. Like, I haven't been able to play Borderlands 1 through its second playthrough. That that would game, be a game I'd love to do that with. Alright. So, apparently, we can now upgrade har Agony Harpoon Bolts. That would be really crazy to do. Let's see. Matches. Did I not upgrade matches before, or did I die after I upgraded matches and it not count? Hmm. Right now, doing two things of matches seems like it makes sense. Getting the syringes up to being able to have three kind of makes sense hmm. increasing my life gauge 
I, if my melee damage was at 240%, I'm still not sure that's that useful. Syringe recovery for 5,000. That sounds good. Um, accuracy, critical hits. Just being able to hold more ammo. Grenades. I'm just going to go with more matches. Certainly 5,000 helped. Increase the damage to 120 by the gun. Or just... Like, save it. can't do that. Fire rate, reload, clip capacity, accuracy, critical. Hmm. Hmm. So if you manage to get a key that that could easily be a, a huge game changer either that or i just managed to find the one place to open which okay so let's say there was two five thousand gels there i could have gotten probably double the updates upgrades Hmm. Alright, and my f axe is gone. That sucks. So I lost the axe. Unless it's laying on the outside of the room, which it could have. Could have been doing that. But no such luck. And There's a crank on the terrace. You will need to operate it if I'm to pass through. Hmm. Let's see if we break this. There is a crank on the terrace. You will need to operate it if I'm to pass through. Hmm. So this area we've already done. But this apparently we spawned. Where are we with our gun? Let's see. I have six shots and 13 more. Hmm. Let's see. Did I fully investigate all of this area or did I kind of stop I kind of stopped I have to use the right pump to sneak the upgrade now we have a grenade a stick grenade is a relic from nearly a hundred years ago. How could it ended up in the private hands is unknown. So left trigger to aim, right trigger to throw. I imagine we have to equip that. So we'll go ahead and equip that. And we'll go ahead and equip that. And these harpoon bolts won't work at all until we got the the thing that we need now you can tell I'm putting the, the layout and the equipment of the weapons in a different different form than the game by default is hmm. Hmm.
I can't open these. Interesting. So this area was simply I thought there might be a bird in that. It's kind of hard to tell what is what. I lost my axe that was in the wall. I, I really cannot overemphasize how important the axe was is as a weapon. Hmm. So, you can't jump up here, nor does it seem like there's anything to shoot. Now, look at that graphics. That does not seem like 2014 graphics. Uh, some laziness or inconsistency at the very least going on between what is animated well as in the people and what is not considered as important. Alright, moving on. We've got all these zombies, which I don't think I could just start shooting. Probably could start shooting, but it wouldn't help. Instead, I'm going to let him create a distraction and hopefully that works better. I'm kind of hoping at this point I don't need like I'm hoping I don't need any of the uh, the stealth mechanics. Am I supposed to be jumping off the edge here? Hmm. That old guy is gonna get himself killed. Hmm. Somebody coming towards me. Like, I, I get the feeling somebody's just gonna start sneaking up through doors and killing me. And. And there were so many traps that maybe I should have just kept and used for as traps. Like somebody is near. Hmm. Hmm. Like, where is this guy? It's pretty important not to miss, so... Clown-faced zombies with ceramic masks. So shooting them in the face is not as good as I would like anyways. I'm down to one bullet. I have played poorly.
Uh, a melee hit with the torch will work. Hmm. To burn bodies, that's good to know. Moving forward. Hmm. So I used all my bullets. I got m most of my bullets back. I seem to be fine. Hmm. And so while there was a group of three moderately regular zombies there, I still kind of feel like I should probably stealth some of these other people. Hmm. So, there's a cow down there. Let's go ahead and use the syringe. More bullets. Hmm. That was a lot more care, uh, reasonable as far as how much damage I took. Like, playing on regular difficulty. Here we go. Hmm. Is he coming? He's coming. Hmm. Break this statue by punching it, get a key. This is not gonna work great. If he gets up to this point. Like, I cannot aim directly downward. Hmm. Can I jump through here? Nope. He doesn't know where I am. Ooh, grenade. Do I have something that would hit those guys? Nope. That screwed I screwed that up royally. And he totally killed me. So, the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Guy. When did the game last checkpoint? Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. 
Somebody just snuck right past me. More people just ran right past me. So what's the deal? Are the cries of this guy so powerful that he calls the other zombies towards him? Was not what I wanted to do, but it's shoot him down. Um, There we go. Hmm. So what was the plan that I was supposed to be doing? I got a shotgun. That's something. Um, but I've only got like five shots. And that ain't gonna be enough. I've got a crossbow bolt gun. Right. Let's get these guys are not playing ball with me and dead. So I found the guns. But I have to sneak around to get to the guns? I'm just not liking how this is playing out. Like, this feels very much like I should... Alright, first of all, I just want to be able to jump off this. So I don't have to deal with people on either side. I guess... There's no way. So I'm going to have to either sneak one direction or the other until I can find a way through this section. Hmm. Look that way. Yeah, that's not going to work.
And at the moment, it's it's just gonna all be double taps, uh, as far as what to fire. Hmm. It's just not moving very fast. This is annoying. And had I known I was going to get a shotgun and several other weapons, I probably wouldn't have made an effort to uh, attack the guy first. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe up here I'll get a sniper rifle. This feels so much like the village in Resident Evil 4. And there's something to hit, but I can't shoot it. From where I am. Flashbolt. A warhead for the agony crossbow. Machine parts and this. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you can do. Let's see. Is that key? Where'd the key go? Did it fall down? Look how awkwardly I'm climbing this ladder. So here's my thought. Let's get the guns. Let's sneak around and not find anybody. And then let's go back to the waiting room and save. Because this is, even though I reduced the difficulty, this section, it's just a little too much considering a lot of people wouldn't have found that cross bolt gun. And they certainly very possibly may have missed the shotgun and just found the cross bolt gun or they found the shotgun and not the cross bolt gun. And it's still not easy enough. I, for a game like this, playing on casual, I would prefer it to be almost impossible to die. Uh, you're not in modern day adding horror to the game because you're increasing the chance of you, of the player dying. You're just irritating the player, and it's a horrible mistake to irritate a player in these days when there's so many other games out there to play. Uh, if I wasn't covering this for my channel, I might very easily consider just playing a different game. There's nothing here that's grabbing my attention that much, and it's not playing on my nostalgia of Resident Evil 4 that much. If anything, this is more difficult than Resident Evil 4, and I, the part about RE4 that I loved was not the difficulty. That's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.